like, see, that's the point. That's like, uh, uh, that's what keeps you working. It's not, it's not what you dig. So what you dig doesn't keep you working. It's not what you dig. I dig soup. So, yeah, tell me what they got over there. You can tell some words about, about yourself, first of all, who you are. Said, my name is Sasha Perry. I'm a jazz pianist composer. I play modern swing music. Yeah. <laughs> That's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> no, but what do you think about education through art and music if it's important thing for young people? I think it's important for everybody because a lot of old people missed out on it. And certainly a lot of the things that we see in the world today might take on at least a different manifestation if you know there had been more emphasis there had been more emphasis on that you know when they're growing up I mean in this country between the late 60s and now it's been kind of funny for that and when I was a child in the 70s that was when they gutted arts educations in the school because of the public school yes because of the budget mm -hmm. you remember the city went bankrupt so that was the first thing to go mm -hmm. So, that had a lot of repercussions, and today, you don't really have, you don't really have that sense, I don't think, mm -hmm. that sense of how important art really is, mm -hmm. because to my way of thinking, that's on the, ideally it's on rather the same platform as religion, if you do it right, or, you know, philosophy. Mm -hmm. Or all this, and certainly all these things are intertwined. Science is the same thing. It's how you perceive the world and what should be done and what shouldn't. It's got a moral component to it, as far as I'm concerned. You know, the ethics, aesthetics, and the whole thing. Generally speaking, in America today, I don't see too much of a realization of that. And that, I think, is traced, can be traced completely to that, the fact that arts are not emphasized. Because parents thinking that it's more important math or logically or well, computer been, science. Well, let's, well, let's face it. I mean, um, you know, think, things have changed in the world. These things are very important. These things are very important. Kids, kids should be able to negotiate. You know, whatever materials are at hand they need to to negotiate to get through to get through life. But on the other hand, if you don't have some kind of emphasis on art or something of this sort, creative, yes, creative things. that's very that's a very good way to put it. Creative, you know, creativity. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're very, very, very good at manipulating a computer, but how is that different from a chimpanzee? Mm -hmm. And then frankly, if you're talking about technology, and most of this is being used for war, most of the technology that we use now is uh, spin-offs of things that were developed for war, or preemptive war, or what have you. Now frankly, we find now that chimpanzees you know, can scrape stones and use bones, and they engage in war. So if you do not have this other component, I don't really see what the difference is at the end of the day, no matter how successful one might be. You know, it's definitely plus. You know, in, in the struggle that is life today, you know, for a lot of people, you know, quite frankly, You know, art gives art gives you it gives you a balance. You're not you're not struggling or you're not struggling on that same animalistic level all the time. If you have that, you might at least have a different understanding of where it is that you find yourself if you have that. And that's what I find is missing, you know, a lot of times in public discourse and school and this and like that. And I find it regrettable, frankly. So, I mean, personally, I would be in much, much worse shape if I had never been um, exposed to the arts and hadn't had the occasion to meet it you know, people mean, who it, exemplify the arts in their very existence. You have some idea what it's about, and it's not just you go down and mm -hmm. you see a show and somebody. I play the piano, and it's wow, his hands are moving really, really fast. That's impressive. Mm -hmm. And you miss 
It's just form without content otherwise. You need good listeners. Yeah. For your And music. that's and that's 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 what the education is for that you're yeah. talking about. Because you should explain to kids how to listen, mm -hmm. how to open your mind to mm -hmm. these creative things. Yeah, exactly. So on the other hand, I mean the situation being what it is, the way I see it today, I'm still very pleasantly surprised that there you know, are a lot of young people, many more than I would have assumed, who either somehow have reached this realization themselves, were lucky enough, or were lucky enough to have some people that you know, could You're introduce them to it, or, you know, who are at least You're trying talking to find about something New York, else. About New York, or New other York, places? All over, the, all over the world. Yes. All over the world. I mean, I've been, I've been around where you, where you come from. I mean, this is, and if you're talking about um, struggle in what we call a capitalist society, I don't say if that's good or bad, that's got to be ten times weirder than it is here. You know, the old system having crumbled and everything, and all of this, re all of this readjustments. And I see that, I see that very clearly. Wherever I go, I've been in Asia, Central Asia, I've been in Europe, I've been in the Caribbean. You know, and it's pretty much the same question wherever we go, mm -hmm. I think. It's starting from the young uh, yeah. generation, yeah. from kids. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I mean, there are a lot. There are a lot of kids who instinctively, at least, know themselves that yeah, this they, is the case. So that's very promising, I think. Thank you so much. No Thank you. No problem.